Hey, we're back. I'm here on my day, and we are continuing what we did last time, which is going over old my day videos. So the next step, I think, is the same as last time. We're doing badges, what badges to get, what order to go for, why, what the best badges, etc. Uh, so let's get started. If we have a look at the K command, you can see all the badges that you've got and the amount of Kakua that you've got. Um, as you can see, I've already got all the badges on this server, um, but that shows you which badges exist. You've got bronze through to emerald, one through to four. Um, all of the badges start off costing your 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 5,000, 7,000, and 9,000, which you're probably aware of, um, unless your server has changed its badge values. A lot of servers change them all down to a minimum of 1,000 each. Um, you can do whatever you like. Anyway, that's how we're going to start off. Um, you will also note, if you are particularly new to the bot, that Sapphire, Ruby, and Emerald are locked. It's going to tell you here what you need to do to unlock them, and the method that you probably want to be unlocking them through is getting two level 4 badges, because that's actually going to be cheaper than leveling up bronze, silver, and gold together, for example, to level 3 for Emerald. We'll get to that later, though. What do the badges do? Well, if you have a look at KR, you can see what the badges do. So we have bronze, which gives you one extra wishlist slot. This is not that great. Unless your server has buffed wishes an insane amount, e.g. my server has done that with uh, Wish Protect, uh, then bronze really isn't worth having. The best thing bronze can do is be cheap, because you can use bronze to unlock the other badges quickly if you want to. Obviously, since it only costs a thousand, leveling all the way up to four is not too much, and you can then unlock emerald with it or something like that. Um, but in general, bronze, not a great badge. Then we have silver. The next cheapest, 25% chance per level to get a character from your character wish list during your rolls. This is even worse. Silver is the worst badge. I know a lot of people buy it because they really want to get their wishes, and I can understand that. But as it says, plus 100% means wishes will appear twice more. That's four levels of silver badge that you get, and your wishes only have a twice the chance of appearing, which is not that much, realistically. There's 70,000 characters in the bot. There's probably even more now. In fact, we can check with the left command exactly how many there are. 76,000. So statistically, without including which roles you're doing and disable lists and all the rest of it, you have a 1 in 76,000 chance of rolling your waifu. If you max out the silver badge all the way to 4, you now have a 1 in 30. 8 chance, 38,000 chance, rather, which is uh, still pretty low. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you're aware, 1 in 38,000 is, is still pretty low. Um, and that's with a maxed silver badge. Not even talking about what happens when you get silver 1 and you've only got 25% chance. It's, it's really not helping that much. Um, so, yeah, I would not advise getting silver um, at all, at least until you've got the other badges. Um, but, yeah. The same as bronze, it is cheap, so you can unlock other badges with it. Although, of course, if you if you're getting bronze all ready for that, getting silver as well, probably not the smartest thing. Then we have gold. Gold suddenly is a great badge. Gold is uh, probably the best badge in the bot. Uh, this reduces the Okakua power used by ten percent uh, when you react to Okakua per level. So this is, if you have a look at your TU, uh, you have your Kakua power here, you've probably got 100%, I've got 130%, um, and it will take 100% of your power to react to a Kakua. Apparently I've got these commands to use, I'm active on the bot, trust me. So, here we go, we've rolled a Kakua straight away, fantastic. I'm going to use this, get me a bunch of Kakua, that gave me about 2,000 Kakua right there, and as you can see, that used 15% of my power. Not 
15%. That's much better, because it means instead of only being able to react to one Kakua at once, I can carry on rolling a bit more and get another Kakua, there you go, and I can react to this one as well, get another few hundred Kakua, and then as you can see, I've still got plenty of power left. Uh, that one wasn't a level 10 key, only level 9, so that one wasn't 15%, that was 30% uh, usage. Uh, but the point is, I can react to a lot of Kakuas, right? And the gold badge is the start point for that. You want to get gold all the way up, because once you've maxed out gold, it only takes 60% instead of 100%. So you're getting almost double the Kakua. Double the Kakua is much better than double the wishes, trust me, because double the wishes only affects the characters you've wished, which by default is only seven characters, whereas double the Kakua affects every character in the bot. If you get more Kakua, you can get more upgrades, and you can get waifus a lot faster. Um, not to mention that we have the gold 4 bonus, which is really good, but we'll get to them in a minute. Then we have Sapphire. Sapphire just, and its base, is mm, okay. Uh, plus one roll per level is pretty useful. Um, the chances are your server starts off with 10 rolls per level. Maybe it starts with 13, maybe it starts with more or less or whatever. It depends on the settings, but it'll be around 10, right? And that gives you 10 chances to roll who you want. By increasing the rolls by one, you get another chance to roll someone good, right? Um, now, of course, this is better than silver already because instead of just increasing the chances for your wishes, this increases the chance of you getting any high rank, right? Because if you have more rolls, the chances that you roll a high rank is higher. Um, but it also increases the chance that you get Kakua, which is good because you want Kakua. Um, of course, we have things like uh, Purse Rare here, which will increase the chances that you get Kakua anyway, so you should be fine. But uh, Sapphire is certainly going to be helping out with that, so I would advise getting Sapphire Badge. The Sapphire 4 bonus makes Sapphire even better. Uh, but again, we'll get to that in a minute. We then have Ruby. Ruby is an okay badge, I guess. Um, Firstly, you have to consider that this is starting to get expensive. We started with 1 and 2,000. Ruby is 7,000 just for Ruby level 1. That means Ruby 4 is going to cost you 28,000. Starting to get expensive. And what does it give you? Actually, not that much. It gives you two lots of the earlier badges, basically. So you have two wishlist chance, 50% chance for wishlist, um... 20% Kakua power and two rolls. So it's just two times all of the other ones. And if you do the maths, it actually costs the same as the level three and four badges equivalent. So for example, bronze three costs 3,000 and bronze four costs 4,000. If you add them together, 7,000, which is the same as ruby one. Alternatively, silver three costs 6,000 and silver four costs 8,000. You add them together, you get 14,000, which is the same as ruby two. This makes Ruby actually worse than these other patches, because obviously the average cost of a bronze badge, if you add them all together, 1,000 plus 2,000 plus 3,000 plus 4,000, divide that by 4, the average cost is 2,500 per badge. But with Ruby, the average cost is 3,500 per badge. So the Ruby equivalent of these badges is more expensive. It's better to just buy the badges than it is to buy Ruby. So Ruby, therefore, is not that great. However, first to note is that when you get things like Gold and Sapphire, these are really good badges. You want to get them as much as possible. So this extra 20%, sure, it's more expensive than Gold, but it's still really good. So I would still advise getting it. Ruby 3 is still one of the best badges in the game just because of that 20% Kakua power. But obviously, you want to max out gold first because it's more efficient to max out gold than it is to go for the ruby version, right? Also, you have the ruby 4 bonus, which is pretty good. And again, we'll get to the, the, the bonuses after we've gone through the batches. Finally, we have emerald. Emerald is debatably a really good and a really bad badge. Emerald 1 is basically the best upgrade in the game. It unlocks RT, which initially has a cooldown of 50 hours, as it says here, which is a long time. You're not going to be using it often, um, but it basically gives you an extra claim. When you use RT, it'll just give you your claim back, and you can save this, right? So you can use it later rather than losing it straight away, and therefore claim someone good with it pretty much every time. Um, once you've upgraded this, you can get the, uh, the 
timer all the way down from 50 hours to 5 hours, but we'll talk about that more um, in the KL video, which is where you get the rest of the timer. Uh, with just the Emerald badge, you can get it down to 20 hours uh, because Emerald 4 um, will, uh, well, every other badge reduces it by 10 hours, so that's three other badges. You reduce it by 30 hours from 50 is 20. So yeah, that's max 20 hours without KLs. Um, but this means that Emerald 2, 3, and 4 are actually really bad badges because while unlocking RT is really good, it costs so much Kakarot to upgrade this badge that actually it's barely worth doing. So Emerald 3 being the worst badge, therefore, by the way, um, costs 27,000 Kakarot. And all you get is minus 10 hours on your RT, which is not a huge bonus. You already had an RT, you're just reducing the cooldown. So I would leave these badges until last. Emerald 1, you want to rush as soon as possible because Emerald 1 is really good. But Emerald 2, 3, and 4, not so great. The Emerald 4 bonus is all right, but it's not worth having to go through and buy Emerald 2 and 3 in order to get it. Speaking of the 4 bonuses, that's what we're talking about next. So we have the Bronze 4 bonus. All of these bonuses, by the way, is just an extra thing that you get when you max out the badge, get it to level 4. So Bronze 4 means each time you claim a character from your wish list, you earn 500 Kakura. This is not that great, really. When you get super late in the game and you're rolling a, a, a wish list character every claim, then it gives you a reasonable amount of character. Uh, Kakura, but at the start, you're not going to be claiming wishes that often. I mean, I'm sure you've used the bot a little bit. How often do you roll a wish? I don't know, once a day? I think that'd be lucky if you're just starting out. Um, and even once a day is 500 Kakura per day, which is not that much, is it? So, uh, bronze 4, not that great a bonus. Worth having, but not great. We have Silver 4. Each time someone else claims a character from your character wish list, you earn 200 Kakura. This is about the same as Bronze 4. Uh, it depends how many other people in the server there are. If you're in a big server, the chances that other people claiming your wishes is much higher than the chances of you claiming them. So that makes Silver better. If you're in a very small server, Bronze would be better. It doesn't really matter either way. They're both pretty rubbish batches because you're not going to get much Kakara from them. Gold 4 is a pretty nice bonus. DK fully restores your Kakura React power. We talked about Kakura React power already up here, this 85% that I've got. Um, this will refill it completely. So for me, that would take it all the way back up to 130%. Now, as you just saw, I can claim a lot of Kakura with my 130%. And the Kakara that I claim gives me hundreds, if not thousands, of Kakara, as opposed to the, you know, one or two hundred that you might get at the start of the bot. And so this DK being fully restored uh, of your Kakara power gives you a lot of Kakara. By the time you've maxed out your badges, this equates to about 1,000 Kakara per day. So you can already see that this is way better than the Bronze 4 bonus. And that's without any further upgrades. Once you upgrade further, DK will get you even more and more Kakara. So that's pretty nice. The Sapphire 4 bonus is, without a doubt, the best bonus in the game. Blue Kakara are replaced by yellow Kakara for your rolls. Now, I would say, on average, before you get Sapphire 4, you're probably claiming turquoise Kakaras and getting a couple of hundred each time. Whereas with Sapphire 4, you'll be claiming yellow Kakaras at least every time, which is a f more like 450. So you're pretty much doubling the amount of Kakara you get just with this batch. This uh, level 4 one mind. Uh, the same as you doubled your Kakura going all the way from gold 1 to 4, you doubled your Kakura with just the Sapphire 4 one here. So this means that Sapphire 4 is arguably better than the entirety of the gold badge. But uh, gold obviously works really well with Sapphire because you have a lot of Kakura power. You can claim a lot of yellow Kakuras. It works out in the end. We have the Ruby 4 badge. This is normally the people reason that people go for Ruby. What it does is all badge levels cost is minus 25%. This looks really nice because badges start costing a lot and that minus 25% is good. But I just discussed how gold doubles the amount of Kakura you get. Sapphire doubles the amount of Kakura you get. Ruby, this is not doubling, you know. If it was minus 50%, it would be doubling, but it's not. It's minus 25%. So it's really not doubling. It's not as good as gold and sapphire. You are getting a lot more Kakara from Golden 
Sapphire, then you would be saving with Ruby. However, Ruby is not a bad batch for sure. If you can uh, wait until you've got your Golden Sapphire and you're ready to buy Ruby, then you can ask a uh, server moderator to refund all of your badges and then uh, grab that uh, badge cost minus 25% first, then proceed to buy the Golden Sapphire. This means that you'll save about 20,000 extra Kakua that you just kind of get for free at that point in the game, um, while still managing to have Gold 4 and Sapphire 4 for as long as possible. So that's a pretty nice way to do it. Uh, but yeah, in general, Ruby is an okay badge. And finally, we have the Emerald 4 bonus. Each claim also gives you the Kakua value of the character. Now, unfortunately, by the time you've leveled up enough to get Emerald 4, especially since I said to go for this one last, the characters you're pre claiming are probably not worth thousands anymore. So it'll probably only give you a few hundred Kakua per three hours. But that's not bad, is it? It's still better than the Bronze and Silver 4, that's for sure. And then if you get Reset to come down where everything's divorced and you can start claiming zero two 2 again, get thousands of Kakura, then Emerald 4 suddenly becomes a lot better. Um, so yeah, Emerald 4 is a pretty pretty, pretty good uh, boost, uh, but like I said, going through 2 and 3 isn't normally worth it until you've got everything else. So that's all the badges. Now you know which ones are the best. Now I'm going to tell you the order that you want to go through. Last time I put up a nice little visual. Uh, honestly, I, I, I don't have time to do that today. I need to get the video out. So I'm going to pass on the vis visual. But if you want the nice visual, I guess go and watch the old video because this order is going to be the same anyway. So what you want to go for, you start out leveling your gold badge all the way up to four. Completely ignore bronze and silver, they're not worth it. Just go straight for gold four. You get more and more Kakua so you can finish off the other badges faster. Next we want to go for sapphire, but as it says, in order to unlock sapphire, you need bronze one, silver one, and gold one. So we get that. We'll buy bronze one, silver one. Even combined, that only costs 3,000 Kakua. It's not too bad. So you buy your bronze one and your silver one, and then you max out sapphire. At this point in the bot, you've got Bronze 1, Silver 1, Gold 4, and Sapphire 4. You're starting to get a lot of Kakura at this point, because all your reactions are yellow, and you're getting only 60% Kakura usage. This is pretty good. You might even want to buy a couple of floors on a tower at this stage, just because you've got some Kakura. We'll talk about towers in more detail in another video. After this, you want to st start... Um, getting your, your Emerald 1 badge, because like I said, Emerald 1 is really good. And since you've got your Gold 4 and your Sapphire 4, you've uh, unlocked the Emerald, because uh, having two badges at level 4 unlocks all of the badges, right? So you get Emerald 1, but ignore the rest of them, and then go for Ruby, right? Once you get up to about Ruby 3, Ruby 3 being the best Ruby badge because of the Kakua power usage, you can then ask a moderator to refund all of your badges so that you save that 20,000 Kakua I mentioned. If you don't get a refund because the moderators refuse, just continue leveling up Ruby and then level up Emerald. But assuming you get it, you then want to go for the most efficient route, which is going to be Bronze 2, Silver 2, Gold 2, and then Ruby 4 because this unlocks Ruby the fastest and enables that minus 25 badge cost to uh, affect as many other badges as possible. After you buy that, you want to max out your Golden Sapphire again, because like I said, you don't want to be missing out on that free Kakua. And then just upgrade whatever you want at that point, really. You probably do want to go for Emerald 1 again, because it's really good and you can probably afford it anyway. Um, but at that point, uh, it doesn't matter too much what you get, because you've already got Gold 4, Sapphire 4, and Ruby 4, and so you're pretty much set. Hopefully that made sense. Like I say, sorry about not having the visual. Um, I don't have time to edit it. But feel free to go back and look at the old video. It will be in the description uh, if you want the visual. Uh, for the most part, this video is going to be a lot more concise. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Anyway, I think that's pretty much everything on badges. Um, as for after badges, you want to start going for your tower, but uh, we'll do a video on tower next time, probably, unless I want to divert and go for keys or something. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, hopefully I've uh, covered everything that you might want to know about badges, which ones are the best, and what everything does, and the order to buy them in. Um, other than that, I'll uh, leave this one here. Bye!